everybody is doing okay out there again today. Now today, our second set of resin festive pins is going to be based on my favorite Christmas movies. Now the Christmas movies I chose is Frosty the Snowman and the classic A Christmas Story. Let me know down in the comments below, you guys, what are your guys' go-to favorite Christmas movies? I used to watch A Christmas Story every single Christmas morning, so of course I had to include it in this one. So let's get started on these fun festive pins. The first thing we're gonna do is just grab a pencil, a piece of paper, and start drawing out our pictures. While I'm drawing out my first picture for a Christmas story, I'm gonna tell you guys a few facts about a Christmas story. Now the main character Ralphie's main goal in the movie is to get a Red Ryder BB gun for Christmas. So much so that he goes on to say this a total of 28 times throughout the movie. That kid really wants one. The house from the movie was actually restored to what it looked like in the movie and is now a museum. That actually includes some of the props from the movie. That is super cool. I definitely have to check that out at some point. In the scene where Flick gets his tongue stuck to the frozen pole, there was a suction tube inside the pole to create the tongue stuck to the pole effect. Now, to me, this is actually a super cool fact because that was one of the most iconic scenes for me growing up and I was absolutely terrified of that happening to me. And of course, here are a few Frosty the Snowman facts. Now, Frosty the Snowman first premiered on CBS in December 1969. For some reason, I always thought it was a newer movie, but I was sadly mistaken. And lastly, it has aired every single year since its release. Thankfully for me, because I absolutely love this movie. Now let's get these guys 3D printed. Now I'm just gonna take some acrylic paint and put some color into these guys. I'm just gonna go finish painting these and we'll be right back. Now it's time to get onto the resin supplies. First, make sure your hands are protected with some disposable gloves. Then you'll need a mixing container with measures on the side, a small torch for those nasty bubbles, some stir sticks, of course, our resin and hardener. And lastly, my favorite part, some glitter. The first step is to grab your hardener and pour one part into your mixing container. Then grab your resin and pour one equal part into the same mixing container. Now, grab your three minute timer and press start. While we mix this for those three minutes, make sure you do your soap slowly so we avoid any excess bubbles. Three, two, one. Now that our mixture is done, I'm just going to take a little bit and put it into another container so I can add some glitter. Then all I did was fill these guys up. Now it's time to wait 10 minutes and we can debubble these guys. When debubbling, just make sure you lightly go over your projects as not to yellow or warp the resin. All we have to do now is wait 72 hours for the resin to set. So you guys, it has been a few days and the resin is finally set on these pins. I hope you guys are ready to see these because I love these so much. They're so festive and so freaking fun. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Christmas story one. So here he is all finished. 
Look at all those sparkles, you guys. Oh my God, did you hear how high my voice just went? I am so excited about how much glitter and sparkles is in this. I think it turned out really, really friggin' cute, you guys. So festive and fun, I love it. And here is the frosty one. I love this one so much. I think he turned out really, really good, you guys. And of course the sparkles look so cute on him. It's like little snowflakes. So gorgeous. Honestly, I don't know if I can pick a favorite between these two. I think the frosty looks really clean and nice, but the gorgeous sparkles and how fun with all the colors this is, these are both super freaking awesome, you guys. Let me know down in the comments below. Can you guys choose a favorite one between these two? Let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. It is really important for me to have you guys subscribe so I know you are enjoying my content and you guys wanna come back for more. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to check out my last week's video, which was another set of festive pins and it was festive holiday treats. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the process and enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys all have a really good rest of your day and I will see you guys next week for another set of festive pins.